Hey everyone, this is a quick rundown of the mid-journey updates from September. The biggest news this month was the release of the Style Explorer, making it much easier for us to discover great SREF codes. To access it, go to the Explore page and click on Styles. You can browse random, hot, and top styles popular in the community. Click a style to see more example images. Use Try Style to submit a job where the SREF code is added to whatever your last prompt was, or just add it to the prompt bar by clicking here. You can also like styles by clicking the heart, and then go up to likes to view all of your favorite styles. There is also a search up here where you can type in keywords or paste an image URL and it will search for similar styles. Be sure to watch my last video where I talk more about this feature, give a more detailed walkthrough, and cover how the Style Explorer differs from using SREF Random. The team has pushed multiple updates to the Style Explorer throughout the month, significantly increasing the number of styles available and also fixed some bugs with the hot and top feeds. The styles in the Style Explorer only work with the V7 model. It's not clear yet how the Style Explorer will change to accommodate future models or if it will only be available to whatever the default model is at the time. But I'm really enjoying the Style Explorer so far and I think it's a great addition. Next, let's talk about upcoming models. V7.1 is still in development. They do have a version that they think is different and slightly better than V7.0 with better prompt accuracy and better Omni reference, but it still needs more testing. They are also planning to try out an enhanced draft mode in 7.1. V8 is chugging along and will be the primary focus once 7.1 is released. They've got their new architecture and server infrastructure in place behind the scenes. V8 is being trained on a significantly larger data set, which means it will have greater topic knowledge compared to previous models. A new image editor and a V2 video model will come after the V8 release, which is still expected to be by the end of the year. Then we have some upcoming features and other miscellaneous updates for you to be aware of. Midjourney is working on a style creator, which will help you find and create styles. This will be a different approach compared to creating a mood board or using the Style Explorer, for example. In a recent office hours, they said that it will not require you to add images, so I'm curious to see what this will look like. User profiles are coming soon. The team is trying to be thoughtful with this feature, wanting to avoid negative dynamics that can often come with social features. They haven't said exactly what user profiles will look like, but we will be able to follow other users on the website. Better tooling is coming for personalization, making the setup process easier and will go beyond image pair ranking. There's now a copy current frame option when you right click on videos so you can more easily use a specific frame in a new prompt. If you're looking for tips on Midjourney's video model, I'll link to a couple of videos below. Midjourney is planning a new ranking activity where the community can rank styles. This will likely show up on the tasks page and help them better understand what people like and inform any changes that they might want to make to the Style Explorer, so keep an eye out for that. Midjourney is also asking the community to submit and vote on what you think are the biggest problems in the world. This is kind of a collective intelligence experiment for them and they aren't quite sure what they're going to do with the end result yet, but if you want to participate and submit your own list, you'll find the link below. And several secret projects are still in development. Some are hardware and some are not. They are hoping to start announcing some of these in the coming months. I do these wrap up videos every month. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, subscribing, and maybe even joining my Patreon community where you'll find all of my monthly prompt collections, exclusive videos, and other mid journey guides. I recently posted a video over there on prompting for low angle images, and the next prompt collection will be out soon. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.